Hello everyone, I just wanted to bring you this new news that Vionis are releasing a new smart telescope. Now they gave me a heads up and they gave me this link to look at which I'll pop down below so you can take a look in your own time. I didn't quite expect it to be this to be honest. I assumed they would be bringing out a telescope to compete with a more affordable smart telescope to compete with the Dwarf 2 by Dwarf Lab and the Sea Stars by ZWO. What I didn't count on is that they're going to be bringing out a device which makes use of the mobile phone that you've got in your pocket. So that has generally got me excited. That's quite, that's quite something to get your teeth into that, isn't it? I'd be really interested to see how this turns out. It appears to be a Kickstarter that they're launching on July the 18th. If you scroll down, we'll just have a look, see what, what details are. So this is the video that they popped on their channel about an hour ago. And um, I've literally just got back from a 13K run. I didn't know I was going to be making this video. So this is very rough and ready. So please forgive that. So we'll just go through what it says here. So thanks to its powerful telephoto lens, Hestia, I'll have to Google what that means, boosts the capability of your smartphone by 25 times magnification with a 1.2 inch lens. So sharpness, detail, resolution, get crisp, detailed images of lunar craters and sunspots. So for lunar and solar, it's going to be five times more powerful than your smartphone alone, they estimate. Brightness, low light sensitivity, push the limits of the universe, capture celestial objects that your smartphone alone isn't able to perceive. So they're estimating this is going to be 25 times better than your smartphone. And it's so small that you can carry it. it ah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Inches. OK, I think that must be a typo. So, so small that you can carry it everywhere with you, but I don't think it's going to be 95 inches long. That's quite long, isn't it? Isn't that like three meters or something? That must be a typo. So we'll ignore that. And it weighs 1.1 pounds. So if it had those dimensions, it would have to be made out of polystyrene or something like that. So I think that might be a typo. So we'll come back to that one. So Gravity by Vionis, our new dedicated app for Hestia. So it's going to have its own app different to the Singularity app. It's not going to be the same as that or a skinned down version of that. And these seem to be the modes that it uses. So night mode for the moon star clusters and galaxies, day mode for sun and eclipse, interactive sky map, catalog of brightest deep sky objects. Um, I, this is going to be more useful for the bright objects to take it if it's using your smartphone. Help for alignment, manual focus. It's not going to have like auto focus or anything like that. So it'd be interested to see what the price point will be of this. Educational content and push notifications, events not to be missed. So it's going to alert you to events by the looks of it. And they um, they are obviously sort of mentioning here about the solar eclipse next year in the USA. So they're, they're sort of saying that it might be useful for that. So don't miss the launch date on July the 18th. So that was just a quick look at the information I've got so far. I just wanted to bring you that very rough and ready. And uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens with that.